Hi guys! Alright, so you're going to see me in the same outfit, hair, makeup, um, in a couple videos. Why? Because I have time to film right now, so I'm going to film as much as I can, to be honest, because my life is just crazy. So, um, now, that we're, now that we're well into 2014, I figure it's time to do my 2013 favorites. So I'm going to do the uh, 2000... I'm going to do the best of 2013 tag where there's different categories um, and show you my favorite out of each category. So the first thing is for primer. My favorite primer, favorite primer by far is this one from Tarte and it's the Clean Slate Poreless 12 Hour Perfecting Primer. Um, it's really good to smooth out your face and create a nice even canvas and to make your makeup last all day long. This is a really nice long lasting primer. Um, I don't find any problems with it breaking me out or anything like that and I really love it. Next category is foundations. I have three to show you because I still am on the hunt for like the perfect foundation I think um, but I have three that come really close to perfect. Um, the first two are from Tarte. I've been using these for a long time. This is my second bottle of the Amazonian clay one and then the Maracuja foundation. I have a feeling like they're discontinuing this but I feel like if Tarte would mix these two foundations together, it would create the most perfect formula, and that's what I do. I mix these two together most of the time, because this one is, has a really nice glowy, dewy finish, and this has a matte finish, which sometimes can accentuate some dry skin, and my skin's pretty dry right now. It's winter, um, but the colors are funky. Like, they're totally off. Like, this Maracuja foundation runs really dark, so I have to mix it anyways. So I mix these two together, and that's what I have on right now, and it gives me a really nice, beautiful finish. So I like to mix these two together. I don't think they're perfect on their own, but together, they're a win. Alright, another foundation I discovered in 2013, and I absolutely love this. It's very luxurious. It's very expensive. This is the Rouge Bunny Rouge Time Defining Foundation. So it's an anti-aging nicely hydrating and silky feeling kind of foundation. I'm in the color Linen Cream and it's a tad bit light. Um, there are only four there are like tocolis. There are only four shades in this line which is kind of disappointing. Um, but the foundation itself, like if you feel like you could fit in one of the shade ranges, it's definitely a must. It has medium to full buildable um, coverage, but just makes your skin look very nice, very supple and glowy and doesn't look like you have cake face. And it feels very nice and luxurious going on, like it's like a luxurious night cream, but in a foundation. So I really like that. Next category are concealers. I have two that I really love. If you've watched me for a while, you see I use this in almost 99% of my Get Ready With Me's. This is the NYX Photogenic HD Concealer, and this is in the yellow one. I just use this before I apply my concealer to just kind of brighten up my under eyes because I have really dark circles. But I feel like these are so underrated. They're like $4.99 and they have really good coverage and they don't crease on me. They don't get cakey. They blend in beautifully. They're just amazing. So I think my next thing I'm going to do is pick up some of like the regular color ones, not just the color corrector that I use. I want to try some of the regular um, concealers from NYX as well. I discovered this from IT Cosmetics this last year in 2013. It's the Bye Bye Under Eye. It's a really nice, full coverage, hydrating, um heavy duty concealer so it's really good to cover up those dark circles. I'm in the color neutral medium and it's kind of just like a universal shade. I think there are like four to five different shades in this. It is kind of pricey but this little tube is going to last you forever because you only need like a little tiny amount to cover your whole under eye bags. Awesome. Okay next category is powders. Hands down I had to include my hourglass ambient lighting powders. These things are just amazing. They like airbrush for your face like Let's buff out any flaws you have. <laughs> so I have two colors that I like to use regularly. This one here is very pale. is in dim. Wait, this is an ethereal light. And I love to use this underneath my eyes and to highlight that area, like that little triangle underneath my eye. Like it really brightens up my under eyes and makes me look more awake. And I love it and don't want to be without it. The other one I use to set my entire face. This is in the color dim. This just gives kind of like a flawless airbrush glow and it just kind of smooths out any kind of imperfections you have and makes you it makes you look really glowy. I don't know if you can really tell on camera but in real life it just makes me look airbrushed and like flawless even though I'm not. <laughs> Last powder I have to include because I use this almost every single day. It's the Tarte Smooth Operator um, Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. It's just a translucent finishing powder. 
This is just a little sample that I got like literally like a year ago and I'm still going strong on it. I have way over halfway left. And I just use this to set my concealer underneath my eyes so it doesn't budge, slide around, crease, or move anywhere. So I really like that. Next is bronzer. Now, I have one that I have been working on this tiny little deluxe sample for over a year now. Like, over a year. And I use this. I use this almost every single day. I say I use this one 90% of the time. It's my most favorite. And I love it. It's the Chocolate Soleil from Too Faced. Like I said, it's just a little tiny baby one. I have a full size, but I can't get through this little tiny baby one. <laughs> it's it smells like hot cocoa. It's amazing. It's perfect for contour. I have it on today and I just love it and definitely think you guys should check it out. Other 10% of the time I use the Tarte Amazonian Clay Park Avenue Princess. This is a really nice one. It has a slight bit of a shimmer but it's just more of like a glow that it gives you not so much shimmer or shine. And this just has a really nice red undertone so this makes me look like I've gotten some sun and maybe been out sun tanning and by the beach which I don't have a beach, so that never happens. Um, but this is just a really nice, natural-looking bronzer to warm up your face and complexion. It looks really natural with the red undertones. Category is highlighters. I have three Holy Grail highlighters. The first one is probably no surprise to you guys. This is the this is the Balm's Mary Luminizer. And it's just this beautiful kind of white, icy gold and it's just so intense. I mean, just look at that pigmentation. Of course, you can blend it out and sheer it out, but it just gives you the most beautiful glow lit from within. Amazing, shiny, J-Lo glow. <laughs> it's amazing. The other one I really love is from Becca, and this is the Shimmering Skin Perfector in Pearl. Now, this is a liquid luminizer or highlight, and it just gives such a beautiful shine and makes you look dewy, glowy, and wet and like a mermaid emerging from the water. Amazing. And then the other one is just a deluxe sample also from Becca. This is the one in Opal and this one is beautiful if you have more of a warm skin tone and you don't want something so stark white of a highlight but something more, this is like a beigey, pinky, gold highlight and still has that beautiful shimmer and shine. Right? Amazing. Right. Um, I don't know if I just wrote down these categories wrong, but there's no blush category. I feel like there should be a blush category. So I'm just adding one, and if there is one, then I just wrote down these questions wrong. So um, we're going to say blush. Blush. I have three favorites. These are like my most used this last year. I can't get enough of them. This first one is Illamasqua's Lover. This is the first Illamasqua blush I ever tried. It's just this beautiful, warm tone orangey apricot. I have that on today. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's not too intense of an orange. It looks very nice and natural on. It's just like a peachy apricot glow. I love it. The other two are from Becca. Um, this year I discovered Becca. I'm really enjoying that brand. I look to branch out and try more this year. So this first one you probably know is Gypsy. I love this blush so much. It's like a beautiful cool tone pink with like a beautiful gold sheen on it. It's so beautiful. Best blush. I just adore that. It looks so pretty and complimenting on and it's like one of a kind. There are no other blushes I've ever tried just like that. This one is the newest one to my collection and this is called Flower Child. It's kind of a corally pink with a gold shine shimmer throughout it. It is gorgeous. These Becca blushes are so pigmented, so smooth, and so buttery and beautiful on. I just love them. This category are, next category is eyebrows. Now, if you guys have watched me for a while, my eyebrows have gone through major transformation. They're still probably not perfect, but they look a whole heck of a lot better than they used to. And I owe it to Anastasia and I owe it to Anastasia Brow Pencil. This is the one I'm working on right now. It's the brow, I think it's called the Perfect Brow Pencil in the color Caramel. And that's what I have on today. And it just is a beautiful, it's a warm tone brown. So it would be good if you have red hair or just like a warm tone brown hair. Um, I like this because my eyebrows, their self, are pretty ashy and kind of gray brown, their self. So this just helps like even it out so I don't look like I have gray eyebrows. <laughs> And then I've been loving this brow gel from Ico. It's um, it's in the shade Universal, I think. I think it's a Universal shade. 
but it just has a tiny little brush and it has a bit of a tint to it. There I go, a little bit of a brown tint to it. So it really helps to darken up my eyebrows and bring it together to match my hair. And I really like this. I also really love the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, but I'm currently out of that. Next category is eyeshadow palette. Now I did want to say the Too Faced, a few of my favorite things palette. That's pretty much like a standalone awesome palette. But it was limited edition, it's hard to find, so I won't. But instead, I have discovered Makeup Geek this year. I think I've seen this in so many of these tag videos. Like, Makeup Geek shadows, Marlena got them right. They are beautiful and amazing. That's what I have on now. I have on um, Cosmopolitan, I have on Creme Brulee, and Bada Bing on right now with some Shimma Shimma in the inner corner. These are just the most beautiful, beautiful pigmented shadows. They're so buttery, so smooth, pigmented, lovely. I adore these so much. There's just a swatch of a few of them. So you can see that they're super pigmented, lovely, beautiful. They're about five to six, like they're like five ninety nine a pop. Great deal. You get such beautiful. She has such a beautiful variety of colors. You can't go wrong. And they're such beautiful pigmentation quality is hands down amazing. I least suggest you guys try some Makeup Geek if you have not. They are. I'll they're amazing. They're out of this world. They are phenomenal. Definitely a must-have. Definitely try it. You will love them. Okay, next category is eyeliners. The one that popped right into my head, right off the back, is this liquid eyeliner from The Balm. This is Showing Liquid Eyeliner. I have it on today. It's just the most easy to apply and use liquid foundation. It's super black and pigmented. It doesn't skip or like tug at your eye. It just glides nicely. You can make the perfect little cat eye. And I love that you like you could start off with a thin line and build it up to your liking and it doesn't take away any product. It just goes on and builds up and makes it it's just a perfect eyeliner. I really, really, really love this. This is probably my most this is. This is my most favorite liquid eyeliner of life. Now as far as a gel eyeliner, Essence Gel Eyeliner, this is in the color Midnight in Paris. It's just a black one. And this is just by far the most amazing gel eyeliner. This is only like three or four dollars at Ulta. And it's long lasting, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't go anywhere. It creates the perfect ultra dark black matte gel line. I don't like overly shiny eyeliner. I like a matte finish. So this one is amazing. Definitely, definitely check it out. You won't be disappointed. It's amazing. And for the price, you can't beat it category is lip pencils and I really don't use lip liners that often to be honest so I chose like lip pencils. <laughs> um, this first one is from Jordana, the new Twist and Shine Lips Moisturizing Balm Stains are amazing. I love this one in Cranberry Crush and I love Honey Love as well. Honey Love is in my purse so I'm not going to go get it. But these are great to just apply on the go, keep in your purse, they moisturize your lips, give you color and don't dry them out and they're nice and shiny and pigmented. I love them. And then a higher end version of those are the Tarte Lip Surgeons. This one is an exposed. This is like my everyday, my lips but better kind of color. And there it is right there. It's just a nice, warm, neutral brown that's not too brown that's going to make your lips look or make your teeth look yellow. I just really like this. Next is a lipstick. Now, this one I've talked about many times recently. And this is from Bite Beauty in the color Fig. It's just the perfect... Mauvey Rosy Pink, that is my lips, but better. I love the formula. They're very moisturizing, not drying, have great pigmentation, and they feel very nice on the lips. Another brand, Milani, the color statement, or color, yeah, what are these called? I think they're called the color statement lipsticks in the gold packaging. These are great if you want to build up your lipstick collection or if you want to try some funky colors. They have, like, amazing colors. My favorite, Sweet Nectar like a bright vibrant orange it's amazing they have great pigmentation great color payoff they're not drying um, and they're very long lasting so they're a great deal for the price my other favorite is rose hip which I believe is a dupe for max candy yum yum and there it is right there so these are what I reach for when I want a really nice bold lip as far as gloss my favorite glosses of the year has been the NYX butter glosses I have quite a few of these and they're all in my purse I have this only this the one to show you but I love this one in meringue it's a nice cool tone baby pink 
and there it is right there. So it's really nice to top off onto any type of it's really nice to top off on any kind of lipstick or wear alone. It's just a really nice, not sticky, um, but nicely pigmented glosses for like four dollars. You can't beat that. This question is your favorite beauty subscription service, you know, like uh, Birch Box or Glossy Box. My Glam or whatever it's called. I don't get any of those. The only beauty subscription box I get monthly is from Julep because I love nail polish and I really love Julep's formula. Um, some are hit or miss, but for the most of the time, but most of the time, 90% of the time, they're a win for me. And I just love being able to choose what style I want for the month. And then you get fun extras like um, hand care, foot care files, they even started making makeup, you know, it's just a fun little extra and I really enjoy Julep. That is the best of 2013 tag. I feel like I need to take a big sip of water because I'm about to go dry in the mouth. I just talked for like 18 minutes straight. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully you found some fun goodies that you're interested in trying. Um, if you've made this video, let me know in the comments and maybe I can go check yours out. Or you can just let me know in the comments what your favorites were. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Heart you guys all. Bye, everybody.